I will have a lot more confidence from all of the practice in the car over the past year, but also knowing that I raced there pretty successfully, even though it was the first time out uh, a year ago. And so I think it's going to be a, a, it should be a really great weekend. And of course, there's huge competition. Throughout this year, we've, we've kind of had experience of the circuits in the GT2 Aston, but always kind of, you know, wondered what it might be like in the, in the P1 car. Um, everything makes sense. It's just an awful lot faster. But going back to Petit, having a good idea on setup and, and how the car behaves, and also as drivers having, you know, experience of the circuit and, and driving this P1 car around there, that, that's, you know, invaluable really. So so that's really going to help us and I think that'll just all that'll do really is just speed up our development uh, and just move us on a little bit faster than we would have been uh, previously but yeah it's uh, it's going to be tough it's going to be a really exciting weekend I think with you know Audi and Peugeot and and all the the other European teams coming over as well for the Intercontinental Cup so yeah I'm really looking forward to it. The fact that it is a proper long endurance race means that your sort of mental preparation is quite different. When you get out of the car after your first stint, you know you've got to go back in and do it again and again. But the, the track, I think, it's in your mind, you're very aware that they, the faster you are over the top, the more stable the car feels. And so keeping good momentum over the top of the hill then down into the last turn of the straight is incredibly quick. The g-forces in that last corner are just immense. And you're aware too that you've got a fast turn at the end of the circuit, so judging the braking just right for that is really crucial to lap time. And then up the hill and then a slow twiddly uh, bit, yes, and then again on the gas back down the hill fast. And that's the feeling of of Road Atlanta. It's, it's flat, very, 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 very fast, and then break, something quite technical, and then again on it, fast. And that, I think, sense of on and off, on and off, lap after lap after lap, is the rhythm that you've got to get into to actually make sure that you've got the maximum speed through those very big corners, but you're absolutely right technically where you have to get the car stopped to make it through the slow ones. I mean, in this car, it's, it's kind of, it comes and goes just very quickly, you know, obviously you've got turn one, which is massively fast, um, through up the hill into a blind right, um, which is really exciting, you know, you can take quite a lot of curb there, down the hill then, left, right, left, back up, you know, it's just, it's a bit of a roller coaster ride through that kind of turn three, four, five, um, and then approaching the back end of the circuit, down the big long straight, big break into the last chicane, and then the last corner is probably one of my favourites where it's just uh, up and over the hill, all flat out, flat through the last turn, massive G. Uh, just, it's just a really exciting track, and certainly a circuit where traffic's always an issue, obviously, wherever you go. It's one of those tracks where actually you can manage the, the traffic quite nicely, and um, it's, it's also a, a circuit where you can get into a really nice rhythm, so I mean, you don't really feel like you've been in the car for an awful long time, so doing a long stint, you know, a double or a triple is not really such an issue, so it's, um, yeah, it should be good fun. Yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of run time on it, so you know, Le Mans was a big learning experience for us. That's all we can chalk that up to, but yeah, we did learn a lot about reliability, and, and so we're uh, going to do a thorough preparation. That's the idea, you know, the car's sort of been run as is through these short races, you know, the mileage has been low enough that we're not changing major components, but for Petit, it's one of the biggest races of the year, so it's a complete teardown reprep. You know, and we'll do that um, at our workshop, and when we come to Road Atlanta, the, the main thing is to be prepared. Um, we're not doing the weekend test before because there's plenty of run time during the week. Um, so the main thing is just be prepared. It's an endurance race after all.